Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have Ashball as a much better color now for distinguishing these players. He's ball in gray. Bottom right hand corner, we have Hoff as the green Protoss. This is going to be on BSL Aid Runner, which is Blade Runner, which I don't think is a standard map in the map pool at large. It is a four player map, which has some interesting features. It doesn't have a. I, I don't think it has. I'm trying to think if this is the one with the. Um, brain farting now all of a sudden again. Whatever. I'll continue with the cast and I'll know what map it is as soon as they move out of their natural expansions momentarily. I'm trying to remember if this is the one with the Zerg eggs out in front or if it's the one with the lower... I think it's the one with the Zerg eggs where you just block the ramp. Anyway, this is... You think I would remember that because this is my second time casting this match because I just was not satisfied with the first cast. Actually, the previous cast, realizing all the things I missed. Uh, but my brain much... I feel like my brain's more in it today. In it to win it. Pylon for both players, so nothing cheesy coming out right off the bat. And here we're still, yeah, so it's the one with the Zerg eggs. So you have these Zerg eggs, a single Zealot I believe can provide a blockade there, but I think a Zealot and a Dragoon can fit there. I'd have to, I'm not sure the full spacing of it. It's a little bit wider, and also the other problem is, is like even with the Zealot sitting there on the front, you can, and I think this is what leads to more Zealot heavy openers, is even with the Zealot on the front, you can still attack those Zerg eggs while your opponent's just kind of sitting there and open things up. Gateway first, and we see no gateway critically from Ball, and Ball's gonna get first scout. And this is a critical moment here. He sees this probe scout moving out. He sees that probe scout, and he is saving up minerals, which suggests he's going for a 12 Nexus, which is a very risky build, but I think it is going to pay off. It's one of those things where if your opponent opens up two gate, which is a possibility on this map, by the way, gas plopping down, which suggests we're actually seeing one gate into Dragoon, and maybe even pure one gate, pure Dragoon, that would be disastrous for Hoff. Ball has plopped the Nexus on 12. That's going to give him a significant resource advantage, and Hoff is going to need, he's first of all, when he scouts this, he's going to need to come up with something. He's going to need something like proxy gateways, or just a lot, uh, or maybe sometimes DTs, uh, sometimes... Uh, dish just a absolute flood of gateways and units to try to push things through and just catch a, a small timing But there's a small window where essentially he needs to press in and take this nexus down and Either destroy all the army there and get his own nexus up to even things up But point being right off the bat ball is going to have an econo a significant economic advantage with this build order and it is going to be up to Hoff who unfortunately is going to be getting the late scout on this. He's going to see this, we'll see the exact moment when he sees it. It's going to be up to Hoff to figure out something to do to stop this early game. It's almost like aggressive macro onslaught. That's the way I put it. Ball has got a build order where his offense is his macro. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Three stack power generators there. Previous time I casted this, I didn't, anyway, whatever. Uh, now he sees that Nexus is up now. And the question is, is okay, how does he react? And this is my concern for Hoff, is I saw hesitation previously in that prior match where it looked like he couldn't decide between, uh, he hesitated a little bit and did not react very rapidly. And this is one of those matches where you need to react immediately. You need to decide what you're going to do instantaneously to try to take this down. Now he has a Zealot and a Dragoon blocking his front door and he needs to just not care about blocking any scouting at this stage. He needs to move out because it does not matter. Ball knows what he's going to do. Now he's moving out with those units. He does have a probe alongside. Another probe actually able to sneak past these zealots. So he is going to get a look inside this base and see how many gateways, etc. he's up against. Maybe, if he gets that probe moving. Doing a little bit of attack. Uh, no, loses the probe actually before he gets that full scout. But I want to see, yeah, this is where a third gateway, something along those lines would be helpful. He's just still hesitant um, with these additional units. Zealots moving out for ball. And I love this maneuver because... If he did go for a lot of early Zealot pressure, first of all, he knows that he's going up against Dragoons. And what this is going to do is it's going to cause this sort of macro or micro for for Hoff, where he just has to do this, this running away from the Zealot's dance. And Ball is happy to sacrifice these units while this happens. Because first of all, it's really pressuring Hoff's ability to micromanage and macro simultaneously. Two, it creates some distance and some time delay. Hoff very cleverly allowing the Zelts to go through. So I guess this is his solution to the problem. I'm going to let those Zelts run by, and instead I'm going to gauge. But critically what this does for Ball is, even though he might not get any kills, 
Although, uh, very close on getting that Dragoon and still might get that Dragoon. Hoff needs to bring the rest of these Dragoons up to yeah, continue doing it. It looks like that single Zealot is going to provide uh, some some time now to, to mop these units up. Oh, so close. One health. Is he going to get it? Oh. <laughs> no. This, uh, it looks like that Dragoon is going to, in fact, live. But that's four Zealots for time to get a shield battery up, to get additional gateways up, to get Dragoon range up. Proxy robotics facility for Hoff. So that is going to be his solution. And this is the thing for Hoff right now is, is he's, yeah, still no third gateway. He's going to have range earlier. So still might be able to get something done. Needs to, yeah, press in and, do, oh, backing off. This is, again, I feel like this is the moment he needs to press in and be aggressive. This is a single Dragoon and, well, he would have lost that engagement. So I'll, I'll pull that back with the reinforcements and that forge plopping down four ball. I think he realizes that he's far enough ahead that if he just cannons up and survives, he will end up winning this match. And he got the, keep in mind, he got those zealots into the natural expansion. So he knew that Hoff wasn't going for any like long Nexus plop down, pullback sort of game. Robotic support bay and observatory because it is possible there were DTs back here for ball somewhere in there. But honestly, I don't like this observatory. I don't like that as a plop down. It almost feels like some wasted waste opportunity. Because either you're going to be successful with your, your proxy robo or you're not. And either he went DT or he didn't. It feels kind of, again, like a half commit. And it's not a full waste of resources, but a general waste of resources. I suppose if you see a DT here, though, you can... This is the other thing, is the robo's, the robo's up here. It's not down here. So even building the observer, if you saw a shimmer up here, you wouldn't be able to get the, DD down, the DT down here in time unless you're face blocking whatever i won't go into that line of thought working on that power generator on the front door these are three stack generators so and i think that is to provide additional spacing so units continue to flood forward and we've got that reaver about halfway built counter dragoons from ball Pressing forward, making sure that action doesn't happen. I think this is going to be critical here for Ball. Does he move up and see this re Reaver? And does he see the Reaver before Scarabs are in it? He does not. He's going to have to back off. This is five gateways up, four Ball. So continuing with the Gateway Man. Uh, no additional tech. He does have a single cannon to provide some support. This is going to be... This might be the engagement that decides the match here. Reaver slow crawling. If he can get a good Scarab spread, I believe... Oh, but unfortunately it's exposed to the top... Almost killed, down to two health. He does manage to get two Dragoons for that exchange. But this is a very soft, weak Reaver now. All those shields back up. Unfortunately, those Scarabs want to hit a... Oh, almost able to sneak around and pick that Reaver off as well. Does pick off the Reaver. That is going to be a big deciding factor with this reinforcement and that shield battery on the front. So now it's even numbers plus the shield battery. And at least for this engagement, I think Hoff might need to back off and regroup and have more Dragoons on the ground. He wants the larger Dragoon count basically to be a meat shield for these Reavers and really needs these Reavers to get even splashes on the back line of the Dragoons where there's kind of like a nut. So if you hit the, re the Scarab right there, you can kind of get the splash across all of them. Re-engaging now. This, again, second opportunity for Hoff. Yeah, needed to target that Dragoon to get the better spread. Right now, he's, he's getting a little bit of side damage, but still hitting just one one Dragoon at a time. Re-engagement, and that Reaver's exposed once again. It gets picked off, and I think that's match now. I think that is... I think it has been picked off. The rest of the Dragoon's pulling back. Another Reaver on the ground. This is critical. Will Ball see this proxy? He's moving these Dragoons off. Single Dragoon moving forward. More Dragoons actually leading the rest of this army back. The generator actually burned down, it looked like. In the back corner. And now Ball engaging. He's going to see that proxy. He's going to see that additional Reaver up. And he knows what he needs to take care of to win this match. Shield battery in flames in the front, by the way. Still sitting at just Gateway Tech. I don't see anything else here. So Ball... Or sorry, he does have an Observer. No, that's, that's Hoff's Observer. Single Dragoon snuck out down below from that previous engagement. Four gateways as well, so actually six gateways. So just pure gateways. Observer moving forward to kind of get eyes to see what he's up against, but I, this is going to be another micro-engagement. It's going to be critical. Good spread, and I like what Ball's done. He's moved these Dragoons so that 
they're kind of distanced. So there can't just be the single shot that devastates the Dragoon Phalanx, I almost want to say. Nice micro management there. And now he's got five Dragoons plus reinforcement standing. He should be able to wipe out this. And that is going to be GG from Hoff. Ball advances to the winner's match. We will see Hoff again in the loser's match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.